your numbers up yep. again. We have a hundred thousand dollar township manager. Yep. So now we're down three seventy to explain. What's the real quick? Just so I can itemize. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, please, I apologize. Uh, could you please say that again? So 470, 470,000 yep. is needed for next year. Yes. 100,000 is a township manager. Yep, so that brings it down to 370. Right, so what's the other breakdown real quick so I can itemize that? Um, uh, kind of like flexible, we, the Act 537, kind of-ish. Uh, legal expenses, kind of, for the union negotiations. Okay. Uh, codification. Um, the codification, what was your number again for that? In there, we had 18,000. 18,000. That is also something that could be split up and not necessarily in one year. Um, okay, so out of the 470,000, we're up to 218,000 in increases that I, I see roughly about. Where's the other two? Where's the other 250? Uh, medical insurance, but I don't know how you'll. Um, What's the jump in medical insurance on the page? Um, it, we projected it with having another officer or bringing that up to whole. Um, I believe Chief has a request at the next coming board meeting um, regarding that full time officer. So the projections for the police department have the, the full staffing. So in that two hundred seventy thousand dollars, you're including a, a new full time police officer. I believe it is replacing the position that was. So that was still in the budget. That number is still in the budget. So that doesn't explain the two seventy. What's the two hundred seventy thousand additional? Part of it has to do with the increase in the medical because that was a lot last year. It was one hundred and eighty three thousand, and it projected to go up to two hundred forty four. The workers' 80, compensation. Two hundred forty four. So that's sixty thousand. Yep. Workers' compensation across the board went up 12%. We've been averaging right now around seventy dollars to $80,000 a year in workers' compensation. So, that's so how much of that $210,000 we are at for explaining um, of, does that do? Um, or the four seventy dollars you're saying? We're at $210,000. $10,000, roughly. Okay, so let's just say we're down to $200,000 to explain. What's the $200,000 in addition? Um, New equipment for the police department, so thirty thousand dollars for the e citations and. So we said thirty for a car, but yeah, well that's probably going to be that's fifteen thousand. That, that would, would be fifteen thousand budgeted for a new car because right. we're already committed right. to the lease that we're in. Right. So no, just the so ten thousand for an HVAC system. Have so the, the roads yeah, went down, be. park went up. Um, I, I mean I can. There's, yeah, okay, so just fine-tuning that area, I mean, there's, there's out of that 470 that you're saying, <coughs> there's really, if the manager isn't, if, because first of all, the township has to seek out a township manager, it's going to take time, it, you know, just saying if the board, if any board goes forward with that, mm -hmm. it's going to take time unless they come up with somebody right off the bat for that position, so, um, but jumping back to the 200,000 that we're down to with you, there's a couple of areas where it would, might not go that far into that 470. That I'm seeing. So there's a, so that brings us to two seventy thousand with the township manager. If the manager isn't hired right away, we potentially are looking at just possibly a hundred and seventy thousand dollars shortfall. Give a little bit with the police. Mm -hmm. We as when we do the budgets each month, it kind of fines tune gets fine tuned more and more. I have clear pictures. I have the information exactly back from the insurance companies. I know exactly how much things are going to be going up. So it's hard. And I absolutely will keep fine tuning um, on it. I I just don't know. But that shortfall that you're, you're projecting for next year it, with the 470, it's not necessarily anywhere near near that unless they go all the way with certain things. And in that 200,000 that we're left to explain, some of that's in the police department that might come out to be about 50,000 more. And there's still 150 not explained. but. There's areas here like the Act 537, it might not necessarily be the 50 grand, it might be 25, it might be 12, mm -hmm. depending on what the board wants to do with that and how simple they want to make that plan. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and since we're not going, that 24,000 or that Act 537 plan was actually if we were putting in uh, uh, public systems, that's where we had to go into the engineering, a lot of the things, if we just go with the, uh, whatever way the board goes, the maintenance plan, it's not, we're not even touching what Dave was talking about as far as engineering all that so that 470 right now is not worrying me for next year as much because there's some areas that are just that you know maybe a board goes down that pathway maybe they don't but there's a lot of room in that 470 number mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, to not be uh, that alarmed. You know, to pad the budget this year, obviously, but that 470 number, it just depends what board. It does, but I right. honestly, I please request the board to figure out how to fine tune 470,000. In 2015, when I came in here, we were talking about 250 to $300,000. We couldn't fine tune it as a board then. <coughs> so hopefully the board is up for the challenge to help me figure out how, how to trim it. Because I, I need I direction on to the, the bigger yeah. things. I mean, our, our goods that we provide is service. We provide 24 hours, seven day a week police service, and that comes. Yeah, but with that's a we already we've already budgeted for that officer. So that but that officer is not really in. That's not where well, our shortfall the, is. The, the, the biggest shortfall is we don't have three hundred thousand dollars extra in earned income tax that we relied upon. So it's not even necessarily not some of but it is that the expenses. But not necessarily not all the way to three hundred thousand. We we just have to see what comes in this year. It might it might give or take a little bit, but yeah, we're not really at that level, you know. I, I think we can make a small dent with the Act 537 and the MS4. I mean, what, 50,000 budgeted, right? Mm -hmm. For Act 537. And for the MS4 engineering, there's 30,000. And what's determining the cost on that is the engineer says that's what it's going to cost. They're going to eat that money up. So. I mean, if we have to be compliant, you know, we we attempt to do it, but we have an obligation to to try to do it. But if we don't have the money. We just don't have the money. So you can we can pull some out of uh, the Act Five Thirty Seven because the engineer says he needs fifty grand. You have to pull it out of there. You can pull some out of the MS Four. Mm -hmm. Excuse. You're saying that we, we have some room in those areas? Is that what you're saying? I think we do. The engineer okay. says it's going to cost 40. Well, we don't have 40. All we got is 25. So we'll go we'll go that far. And then when the state says something, hey, you can't say we're not attempting to solve a sewage mm -hmm. problem. We got a money problem. Mm -hmm. so, right. So yeah. So that when Dave had projected when he had talked about those numbers, he there was yeah, that was, was if room. we were going to the full scale problem that we have with that. Yeah. So we we basically I'm not sure about the MS4. We have to see what's going on with that, but at least within that act, the Act 537, mm -hmm. that 50 grand is, I don't see it got 50 grand. So we have some room there. That's with the township manager until that person's hired or, um, you know, we, you know, I saw lower numbers with, with Randstad with, when I first came on this board with candidates that they were sending us mm -hmm. from, from that. So you could technically get a township manager. The board can do a part-time township manager. Can do the a board lot. Can yeah, do there's room there. Anything yeah. that they see fit in terms of mm -hmm. additional staffing. I would say you have a hundred and seventy uh, to two hundred thousand um, dollar at the least problem for next year if we can fine tune some of these areas. So that that's but it's still a problem. Yeah. Still a problem. Still a problem. So, um, Chief, as far as the full time officer mm -hmm. next year, so you, you I'm, I'm going to come to the board this coming this, this month and ask for a full time officer to replace one of those officers. They retire. <coughs> Okay. But okay. you were with Harper, like what we did this year, we did the four time, we gave you um, an extra, what, 50,000 for? I'm sorry, yeah, I think it was uh, an extra 25,000, or actually 30,000, something like that, that we put on for part time. Yeah, we gave you an extra. Correct. It was 25,000, I think. What was that? Was, that was that 75. Yeah, yeah, we brought 10 we up to 100. We went to Correct. Around. So what's, what's yeah, going on here? So we had six full time officers. So there were six full timers. And we had the part-time extra money that came in. Correct. What's, what? Why isn't that plan working? Well, <laughs> part-timers, like you, like you know, have sometimes two jobs, so sometimes they're not available to work. Okay. Because they work other part-time. Correct. And <laughs> we're getting we're getting killed at it. I mean, I mean, swamped. We're getting theft from vehicles. We're getting, uh, like I said, we had a couple big things happen within the last couple weeks. Um, we're getting. And we're falling behind in just just follow-ups on cases. Okay. I mean, we're getting slammed. Especially out of detective now. These officers, you know, stuck in out of the office doing, doing follow-ups. We need that extra office. And you were gonna approach the board when? Th th this month, the end of this month. That's regular meeting. And this is in September. Yeah. Is there another option? versus a full-time 